Hello and welcome to my new series of video shorts aimed at helping you make better bassoon reads. Whether you're new to read making or if you've been doing it for a while, there'll hopefully be something useful for you in this series. So in this episode we're going to be looking at beveling these edges here so that when we fold the cane over to make a tube, they're going to bed nicely against each other, they're going to have a nice flat surface rather than a sharp edge which was likely to slip. If you have a look at this diagram of an unbeveled reed, you can see that where the edges meet is a very small area. It's a sharp edge basically, and you're much more likely to have leaks and the reed is going to twist as you put it on and off the crook. I made an example here of a reed which I haven't beveled the edges, and you can see that the tube is not nicely formed, it's not very round, um, the edges are sort of sticking up and they haven't bedded in nicely together. Um, so really that over time is not going to be a well functioning reed, it's going to twist, uh, the blades are going to end up crossed um, as the, the tube is not supported and held well at the sides here. It's worth also mentioning at this stage that you can take off too much and end up with the gaps on the inside so you have a leak around the edge of the crook where the reed fits on which is not what you want either. So the ideal angle that we want to bevel these edges is about 25 to 30 degrees. It's really a very small amount that we actually want to take off and we want to avoid removing any of the outer edge where the bark is. So we're going to bevel the edges here with a Stanley knife. It's important to make sure you've got a very sharp blade so it's worth replacing it before doing this job. And you can see here I'm supporting my hand my cutting hand with my right thumb as an anchor point on the base of the reed and just removing just a very small sliver on that uh, leading edge. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get it started. Don't dig, be tempted to change the angle of the knife and dig in. Just use a little bit more pressure. Just removing a very small amount on that front edge there with the soft stuff, leaving, leaving the bark on the outside well alone. Now you'll need to blend in what you've just beveled off into the blade. So I'm using a bit of sandpaper here just to blend in that bevel into the sides of the blades. Uh, about 320 grit sandpaper, so pretty fine. Um, and as you can see, it's just a very small amount, a couple of strokes with the sandpaper. And that's blended in nicely. And then when you fold it over and form the tube, you can see how the edges here just meet. Uh, with a little sort of they tuck in at the bottom and then uh, when you form the tube you've got a nice round one instead of a all lumpy at the sides um, the sides meet it's nice and flat um, it's going to be airtight on the crook you're not going to have any leaks um, and that's going to really help the life of your reed and the functionality of it